Welcome to the lesson on energy balance and weight management. This is a topic that a lot of students find a little bit more personally interesting because of the culture's kind of obsession with weight and also the rise in obesity in the last decade or so. The lesson's divided into three sections. We're going to first take a look at energy balance, taking a look at the input versus the output of energy. And we've already taken a look at a lot of the carbohydrate, protein, fats, and the calories, and then alcohol. How do you measure that? How is that done? So we'll look at that. And then the output side of things, the basal metabolic rate, what it takes to maintain life, thermic effect of movement, it takes more energy just to move, especially with weight, uh, and then also the uh, thermic effect of food, it takes energy to digest and mobilize these nutrients. We'll put that all into a formula and calculate, kind of estimate what your energy needs are. You won't have to memorize those formulas, but you'll need to know the pieces that are made up of it and why those are important to the formula. The next section of the lesson will be on body composition and body weight. It's estimated that about half the people, both men and women, in the United States are not happy with their weight or their body shape. I have here an image of five pounds of fat. Some people even um, don't even want to have five extra pounds of body fat on it. But we're not going to look at the muscle magazines or Cosmopolitan's measure of body weight. We're going to look at health. How do we determine healthy body weights? And what are some measures that you can use to, to do that? And then finally look at it personally. How is your weight doing? The last section in this lesson is on weight management. The first two sections, the energy balance and the weight, the healthy weight and composition, look as if it's almost a black and white issue. You put it on a formula, we calculate your energy needs, you eat it, you get this body weight. But obviously it's not that easy or we would all be at our ideal weights. Um, so the idea of weight management, obesity, what causes it, there are lots of different theories. We're going to look at a couple of them. And then the whole physiology of the body. The body's always more complicated than what it initially um, seems, and we'll look at kind of those mechanisms. This lesson does not have any magic answers or potions or secrets. The bottom line, there aren't any of those. But there are ways that you can learn to manage your weight better, and we're going to be looking at some of those strategies.